come out like a pyramid, you know, and then eventually the electric field will bend over here, you see, something like that. And so if I want to come up for a general formula for the electric field, no way I could use Gauss's law. Or if, if the charge is a cube, and if I want to find the electric field a certain distance away, there's still nothing that I could, there's no symmetry. The electric field here will be like that, and then over here it's going to be like that, and it's going to start bending. Uh, this one goes straight, this one goes like that. You might find it, you might be able to use Gauss's law to find the close to the cube, which will be the formula for the electric field of a sheet, of a, a sheet or plate, which I'm going to show you later on. That's one of the things we could do. So we could do close to the cube, but not at any particular distance from the cube. The cube loses its symmetry after, after a while, the electric field just disperses out spherically, you see. So a cube, pyramid, any other shape doesn't work. A sphere works. The other shape that I'll show you is a cylinder. Sphere works, a cylinder works. Uh, the cylinder has to be relatively long, and we can find the electric field near the cylinder, okay, using Gauss's law. So cylinder works, uh, sphere works, and a sheet of paper, or play, uh, like a table, a plain sheet of paper of that is charged, the uh, Gauss's law works for that. But it doesn't work for anything else. It's very limited. Okay. Now, another thing that I want you to notice is this. The answer we got, q over 4 pi e 0 r squared, what I want you to try is this. 1 over 4 pi, try the number 8.85 .8 times 10 to the minus 12. The, I told you E0 is that number. Try this on your calculator. See what you get. 1 over 4 pi times uh, 8.85. What number does that come out? times 10 to the ninth. You will recognize that as the other number that we learned. 9 times 10 to the ninth, right? Which is about 9 times 10 to the ninth, which is what? Which is the k, right? Uh, so the 1 over 4 pi is 0. is equal to k. Which k am I talking about? This is the k that appears in the uh, k q1 q2 over r squared, the force between two charges, right? It's that k. So the electric field, so that now I can rewrite the electric field of a sphere. I can rewrite it like this. 1 over 4 pi e0 is k and q over r squared. So the electric field of a point charge of a sphere or a point charge uh, is equal to kq over r squared. Now, if you really think about it, we didn't even need to do anything. We could have guessed the answer. A sphere is like a point charge when you're outside of the sphere, right? The electric field of a sphere should be the same as the electric field of a point charge. What is the electric field of a point charge? kq over r squared. Right? If you have two point charges, Q1 and uh, Q2, the force between them is K, Q1, Q2 over R squared, right? But if I want to find the electric field created by this point charge at that location, I divide the force by Q2, right? And I get... Uh, k q1 over r squared. So if I, uh, if I erase the q2, that q1 creates an electric field here is equal to f over q2, which is equal to k q1 over r squared. So using Gauss's law, we got to the same answer. So that means Gauss's law is working. 
So all along today, I'm, I'm going to be showing to you not only how to use Gauss's law, but I'll also show you that it really does give you the right answer. OK? Um, OK, now let's go to the inside of the sphere and use Gauss's law to find the electric field inside. Now, in example one, we're doing a conducting sphere. So we want to find the electric field for R is lesser or same as R. Now, for if it's a conducting sphere, and I place charge inside of the sphere, well, since it's conducting, the charge pushes out, right? They repel each other. So all the charge is now found on the outside. So this is true for either a solid conducting sphere or a hollow sphere. If it's a hollow sphere, there's nothing inside anyway. So all the charge is on the outside. So either a solid conducting sphere or hollow sphere. All the charge is found on the outside. So the electric field at a certain point R from the center will be what? OK? Well, the way to do it with the regular method would be to say, OK, take rings like this. Right? Let's say take a ring from here and find the electric field that that ring creates. Uh, let's, let's do the orientation of the ring this way like this, let's say. OK, so let's say like that. So I want to find the, uh, the electric field that that ring creates at that, uh, you know what, let's, let's do this. Let's do this to make it look easier. Let's say I want to find the, the electric field at a certain distance r away right here. And I'll cut the ring like this. So here's my R. So I would say, OK, this thing creates an electric field that way, DE. And I would use the general formula that I got for the electric field of a ring. Then I would integrate over all those rings on this side. integrate over all those rings on this side, they will each create an electric field this way, right? So they will add up. And then I would take rings on the other side. They get bigger and bigger now. And then they will create an electric field on that, to that side. Which one will win? OK, so uh, these rings will, if you kind of argue with yourself, there's less rings here, right? There's a lot more rings there, each doing that way. So there's less rings here, but the rings are closer to that point. There's more rings there, but the average distance is a, a little bit farther. So that's a little bit of a competition going on here, which, which side will win? It's going to end up that neither wins. The electric field is 0. OK? The electric field uh, inside of a hollow sphere is 0 uh, at any point. It doesn't matter the distance r. Because the rings on this side uh, push the same equivalent this way as the rings on that side. That's true. Same thing is true with gravitation. If you go inside of a planet that is hollow, a hollow planet, I mean, there are none, but let's just say uh, you go inside of a hollow planet, and you are right there, some, some distance away from the center, well, how much will you weigh? <coughs> the same argument can be made. Uh, you can make rings on this side. They will attract you that way. And you can make rings on that side. 
Uh, they will attract.